Hi, it's Jace from DrPreMed.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to think like a doctor. As a pre-med student, this is extremely important for your future and for being a doctor and getting into medical school. So where does this really come into play? Most importantly, how to think like a doctor for you as a pre-med student is going to be with the MCAT. And unfortunately, what you've been doing and what you've been taught for, for how to excel as a pre-med just won't cut it on the MCAT. As a pre-med student, your professors, they want to test you on all the information. They want you to memorize problems, give you equation sheets that you may be allowed to use, or maybe you even get a note card where you can write down equations. And then if you have it all memorized, you go in and you take your test, and most likely you're going to pass your, your exam or do very well on it. But it's very unlikely that you're going to fail your exam if you're able to just memorize everything that you need to memorize for the exam. You're going to pass it. Now, what happens is the MCAT's an entirely different beast. A lot of students realize, okay, well, I memorized throughout my pre-med career. I got really good grades doing that strategy. So the only problem with the MCAT is there's just a lot of information I have to memorize, basically two to three years worth of pre-med classes. And if I'm able to do that, then I'm going to excel on the MCAT. That's the furthest thing from the truth. The MCAT is a critical thinking test. It doesn't want to know how well you can memorize because anybody can memorize things. So you have to think about it. How come some of your classmates who are top scorers, who have the highest GPAs, and their pre-med curriculum do horrible on the MCAT. It's because the MCAT's a totally different beast, whereas some of the students who do horrible in class can barely pass, get Bs and Cs on their pre-med courses, then they go and take the MCAT and they totally blow it out the water. What's going on? That doesn't seem to make any sense. And what's going on is something called how to think like a doctor. The MCAT wants pre-med students who have the capacity to think like a doctor. And as a physician, you're not just memorizing. I like to use the analogy of a patient who comes into the ER. You as a doctor, there's very set criteria of things that you need to do. The first thing you need to do is make sure you keep that patient alive. That's job number one. And so after you have the patient stabilized, airway, breathing, circulation, all that other stuff, you're then going to talk to the patient if they're able to, if they're conscious or if they're alert and oriented. You're going to kind of take a history, find out what's going on, any medical history, any allergies, or anything else that you need to know for that patient. And then from there, you're going to do a physical. And then once, and then also, since it's the ER type situation, you want to figure out what's going on. So most likely you're going to order some labs and probably do some imaging as well. And then as a doctor, you have to come up with a differential analysis, what you think is most likely this patient has, and then you rate them from what's most likely to least likely that the patient has. Then you're going to wait for all your labs to come back. You're going to talk to the patient, getting any other information. And you see in that process then, you have to put all the different pieces together. You have to put the labs together. you got to put the history together, what the patient told you, if they lost consciousness, if they were alert, um, if they remember falling or anything like that because you see a lot of incidents where patients come in and they have a fall and so that's one thing that we see a lot in the ER so you need to put that together then you have your lab most labs most physicians you have it memorized so that's something yes you're going to have to memorize even on the MCAT there's going to be things that you have to memorize but then and then your imaging reports and you're going to put all those things together all the disparate piece of information and patients don't always present like a textbook classic case and this is where you have to think like a doctor you have to think like okay I have this over here, I have this lab value over here, I saw this physical exam, fine, what do I think this patient has? And if you're able to put all those pieces together, you're able to say, okay, it's most likely that this patient has this, and then secondly, they can have this, or thirdly, they have that. And you can tell with this process, it isn't purely memorization. And that's what the MCAT wants you to do. They want to find students who are able to think critically, take all these disparate pieces of information, and solve the puzzle of what's going on with your patient, and then be able to effectively treat them. But as a pre-med student, while you're in your pre-med classes, you've been taught memorize, 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 and that's why when you go into the MCAT, you're blown out the water because they know any 
anybody can memorize. They want to know, can you apply this information to new novel situations that you haven't encountered before? And if you're able to do that, you're going to do well in the MCAT and you're going to make a great doctor, great physician. And so that's why the MCAT is so tough for students because it's not pure memorization. It's can you think like a doctor? Because as a doctor, you're not going to spend your life memorizing what's in a textbook. Yes, you have to know the basic foundations, but then you have to be able to apply that to patients that you treat. And so that's what I want to get across to you is how to think like a doctor. And that's what the MCAT's really asking of you because if you pass the MCAT, you're going to most likely get into medical school. And once you're in M medical school, it's practically guaranteed like 98 to 99 percent of the chance that you're going to be a doctor once you get into medical school. And so that's why it's so rigorous on the MCAT and why students struggle so much. And I want to go into a little bit more of what you then can do to help yourself get ahead when you know that, okay, it's not just about memorization for the MCAT. And this is Jason signing off from drpremed.com. And again, how to think like a doctor.